all right guys so let's get into unboxing my new apple iphone 12 so here's a close-up of the box i don't know if this information is useful so i'm just gonna cover that but i have the i think it's called pacific blue 128 gig iphone so you have the little tab here let's go ahead and unbox the phone I always love their packaging because it comes right off and first thing I notice is the box is much slimmer than it normally is but I'm gonna go ahead and unmove that and here is the phone right here on top inside of the box so we have the cord here for charging have your little this I'm going to need actually because I need to remove my SIM card from my other phone. Little instructional pamphlet. And then you have the one Apple sticker here. And then that's it. If you follow Apple, you may know that the charging brick that normally comes with the phones does not come with the iPhone 12 series anymore. I know they're trying to sell some kind of charging brick but i do hope the charging bricks because we have plenty of these around the house so i'm hoping that the charging bricks that i already have fit right up in here oh it does and it has the port like my um this will actually charge with my macbook because i have the macbook 2020 and i did film an unboxing of that i just never posted it because i didn't like the footage but i do still have the footage so let me know if you want to see that but i do have the macbook air 2020 and it has this kind of charging port here as a matter of fact since i'm at my desk you can see that the charging port here is similar to that so i'll probably have to connect this i'll probably have to connect my phone to the to my macbook in order for it to charge which is weird to me because what if you didn't know that before you bought the phone and then you would have had to buy that separate so i probably go on amazon because i did win an amazon gift card from my job i have an amazon gift card here <laughs> so i'll probably have to go ahead and buy a charging brick just for that but yeah let's get into the phone anyway so that's all that comes in the box all right so now let's go ahead and get into the phone here so i'm gonna take that off and it's basically just telling you like that these are the buttons this is the power button this is the volume on the left side and then you can also mute the phone like you normally do and they're telling you that the lightning cable goes down here at the bottom so let's go ahead and power up my phone swipe up to open english i'm in the u.s Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this phone manually. So my phone is actually here. So can you guys see that? It says set up new iPhone. Hopefully you guys can see everything. So it says set up new iPhone, continue. Connecting, waiting for other phone. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Position the pattern in the circle. I'm confused. Oh, not the new iPhone. You have to do the old iPhone. And then enter the passcode of your other iPhone. Keep this iPhone near you, near your new iPhone while your information is transferred. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So right now, we're just going to give it some time to go ahead and set it up. Right now it says the time is 4.09. Let's see how long this takes to set up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the pop-up did come up where it says my SIM is required. So I'm going back in the box and I'm going to get that tool and switch my SIM card. The phone that I purchased is an unlocked phone. So with T I have T-Mobile. So any T-Mobile, usually the T-Mobile phones, they work, T-Mobile works with unlocked phones. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this case here and get my SIM card out. On the new iPhone, instead of the SIM card being on the right side, it's actually on the left side. It went back to hello again, so let's see. Try again. Now my old phone is saying no SIM card. I wonder if it's still gonna be able to transfer the information. Let's see how this goes. Face ID can recognize. So that was only two minutes, guys, because it's 411. I'll set up later, just not to waste your time. I will set up my face ID. Transfer your data. You can directly transfer your data during setup or finish downloading it later. You can start using your iPhone. Well, it says transfer directly so this phone will be ready with your data when you finish setting up. That takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can download from iCloud. You can start using your iPhone in about 15 minutes. Your data will download later over Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to transfer from the phone. Terms and conditions. Who reads those, right? You just agree. <laughs> you could be giving Apple your firstborn kid, but you don't agree to it just so that you got that iPhone. <laughs> settings from your other phone. The following settings can be transferred from iPhone, or you can customize them individually. Allow Siri to use your voice. I never set up Siri like that. And then let's improve Siri and dictation. Not now. I never share my information. Help iPhone improve its products and services by allowing analytics. Nope, don't share. Transferring data. So here we go. It's transferring now. I thought it was transferring before, but it's transferring now. And again, the time is 4.14 now. So let's see how long this takes. So what was that, like five minutes? Not bad. To transfer all the data over, like all my pictures and everything. Let's see how much of the data it actually gets. I know I always have a problem with my contacts. My contacts never transfer over. So I'm probably still gonna have to do those separately. And I do have another case coming. I have one case here that I ordered from Amazon, but I have one that I actually ordered with the phone that hasn't gotten here yet. It's supposed to be here later on today. So I'll go ahead and insert a clip of how the phone looks like with that case while I unbox this case. This case from Amazon comes in the sleeve here. From a company called Mira Pace. Share your experience, write a review on Amazon. 20% of your next purchase. Chance for new product test, 18 month warranty. So yeah, I'll definitely go ahead and review this on Amazon, but it says my transfer is complete. Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Before you trade in, give away, or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. So yeah, I'm gonna end up giving this to Drew. My son is going to get this phone. So my phone, I guess, is rebooting and you know, then we'll see what this new iPhone is looking like. Guys, I've been working with the iPhone 7. I had the iPhone 8 Plus. I don't know if you guys remember. I had the iPhone 8 Plus. Then I ended up losing that phone. And they no longer sell the iPhone 8 Plus. So when I went to T-Mobile to replace it, I never wanted to get rid of my home screen button here, my home button. I did not want to get rid of my home button. So that's going to be something to get used to. But um, I saw that they was coming out with this 12. And I said, you know what? My phone's been acting up. I actually tweeted not so long ago. <laughs> You know, it's that time of year when your iPhone start acting up and lo and behold, they was dropping the 12. So I said it's about time that I went ahead and up, upgraded my phone. So, you know, that's where we at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let that keep processing. It's 421 and yeah, I'll be right back once that's complete. All right, guys, we are back. That didn't take long at all. First thing I noticed is my screensaver is the same as it was before. So I went ahead and unlocked my phone. And I'm liking the look of this phone. I have my Apple Watch on and it's asking me to pair watch with new iPhone. Do you want to use this Apple Watch with phone? So I'm just going to say okay. 
and I guess it's going to, you know, pair itself with that phone. So while that's going on, um, I see I'm waiting for a lot of my apps to download, which I need to do a whole customization and I know now you can customize the iPhone. I need to revamp everything. As a matter of fact, just even allow widgets from weather to lose. Oh, okay. That's one thing I wanted to see was the widgets. So these widgets is looking different. I'm probably going to come back because I'm, you know, I'm going to play with the phone and see what kind of customization I'm going to do and just clean up these apps because I used to have, I don't know if you noticed on that homepage, I used to have everything in those folders and then you download stuff and you download stuff and then next thing you know, oh, and I kept swiping and it says, welcome to App Library, your new home for your apps organized in smart categories. So that's cool. All your apps is basically sorted that way. So that's pretty cool, actually. So that is the unboxing and setup of my phone. I have all of my emails came over. My messages has come over. Oh, even like um, the browser because I was tracking my delivery. <laughs> so it says we have delivered your package. So even the apps from my browser is there and then all my telephone calls and all that stuff is there so now just basically in the background like I said the apps are downloading but let me know if you want to see another video in the future of how I actually end up customizing the video I mean how I end up customizing the phone before I go I do want to go ahead and put it in the case this case is nicely there's a nice velvet feel to it oh I didn't even show y'all the specs of the phone so around the sides of the phone you have that matte steel. I don't know if it's steel. Don't quote me. But you have the matte sides. Stainless steel. Um, it says Apple Watch was not paired. The Apple Watch cannot be paired with this phone. You can try to pair again and confirm on your Apple Watch. So I'm doing try again. Okay. On my phone. I mean on my watch. And then hopefully it'll pair. Then on the back here, you have the two cameras there. Um, I know the 12 Pro has the three cameras, but I didn't want the Pro. And the difference between the Pro also that I know, because I've done a lot of research on this, guys. I don't want to know which phone I was going to get. This shiny, I really wanted it to be matte, but uh, the regular 12s have the, you know, shiny looking background, which is cool because I'm going to go ahead and put it in the case anyway. So have that there in the case and blue on blue for now um i also did get a the other case that i picked up is clear so hopefully well i'll go ahead and insert how the clear looks on this phone is my other case came in for the phone so i thought i wanted to show you guys really quick how that looks but this case is really cool because it's completely clear scratch resistant it has hygienic protection here on the back it says built-in hygienic protection made with a material that helps to keep your case clean by reducing micros by up to 99.9%. So that alone got me. And then it also says that it's like um, scratch resistant. Yeah, scratch resistant. Uh, completely transparent. This slim phone case will never fade or yellow in the sunlight. And it says it's a 10 feet impact protection. Like if you drop your phone, it shouldn't break. So this one is really good. And I checked on Amazon. They do have it in stock for $39.99. It's a little pricey, but if you want good protection, I mean, you're going to pay, what, $1,000 for a phone. You might as well pay another $30, $40 and get a good case so that you don't mess it up, you know? So this is by Tech 21. It's the Evo Clear, completely clear, scratch-resistant phone case. So slides up like that. And this is the phone case. I'm still gonna have to get the what's that? The screen protectors. So again, this is what my phone is looking like now with the blue on blue. But I can switch it. Like this fits like a glove. Okay, so it's easy if you slide it to the left and then into the other side. So that's what the clear case looks like. Let me know which one you guys prefer. I like this because it does show the Apple logo and everything. You can still see the phone itself and it's not too bulky. Completely clear. It says it won't, it won't turn yellow or anything. So yeah, 
that's basically it and just a little sneak peek let me know if you want me to do a what's on my iPhone video because I did do a little bit of customization since the last time I've seen you so up here you have my batteries my weather I have Google down here so look if you want to search something let's say that somebody has something you like there's something called Google Lens and you can just take a picture of the product and it'll search it for you so it shows you the results so tech 21 pure clear case this is the one here and it's the exact same product oh so our best buy is 29.99 guys so the tech 21 clear case 29.99 so i think that's a cool little feature so i added the google widget over there i just got a picture of myself i have the calendar here this is apple tv because i keep forgetting first of all guys do y'all know that this is like the first year that they're not playing Charlie Brown, like the holiday stuff, like that's crazy. So we found it on Apple TV and we're gonna watch, I'm gonna watch it with the kids. So um, I have a, I'm pretty sure like everybody that had Apple, I don't know if you guys know this, but they was given a free trial for Apple TV and I realized that they extended it all the way to like January 31st of 2021. So in your subscriptions, you can always cancel that out so you don't get charged for it. But I thought that was pretty cool. So I said I need to utilize that app. So I got that widget here. I do have other pages here, but I have them hidden because I don't want it to be too cluttered. So if you slide to the right, then this is just my app library where the rest of my apps are housed. And if you want to search for an app, you can just search it up there. You can do search like you normally search from the top and everything like that. So yeah guys that's pretty much it just need to close out all these apps so yeah guys that's pretty much it that's how my phone is looking let me know if you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below let me know what iphone you have again it's been years since i upgraded my iphone because i just didn't feel the need to and i'm not missing the home button too much like there's been some times that i've already tried to press the home button like the iphone 7 you know i reset i went ahead and reset this already because i'm gonna i told you i'm gonna give this to my son so yeah that's basically it again comment down below your iphone if you're interested in getting a new iphone if you have it on your christmas list coming up let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up that really helps me out greatly it lets other people know that they should be watching this video as well and until next time beauties i hope to catch you guys on the next video later y'all